All right, let's look at designing your YouTube channel. There's really about five main parts that we're gonna be concerned with. And that's gonna be your channel artwork, your channel's avatar, your subscribe trailer, your about section, and your channel sections or shelves. If you don't have any videos yet, then I would just do the basics on your channel and focus on your video strategy first. If you do have some videos, organizing your content in meaningful ways on your channel can help new viewers discover the content you've already created. So let's jump into YouTube. Here we are on the homepage, and to get to your channel, you can just go to the menu here and click on My Channel. And here we are. First thing is if you don't have a home tab, a lot of people don't have that set up already, what you'll need to do is click over here when this little pencil icon and make sure that you customize the layout of your channel. Make sure that that's enabled, and for some channels it might be disabled. So we'll click Save there. Next we're gonna update our channel artwork at the top. Uh, once again, if you hover over that area, you'll see a pencil edit icon, and we're gonna go ahead and click on edit channel art. The dimensions of your channel art are pretty specific, 2560 by 1440, but I recommend you download a free template that YouTube makes available. You'll see a little link here that says how to create channel art. Give that a click, and scroll down just a tad, and you'll see their downloadable channel art template right there. As you'll see, the channel art itself is just one big image, and then certain pieces of that image are shown based on what device someone is viewing your channel on. This template will give you an idea of where those areas are, so as you design the artwork or you pass this template on to your designer, you can make sure all the most important information or visuals are actually visible to your audience. Once you have your channel artwork uploaded, you can go ahead and upload an avatar for your channel. I already have mine set up. And my channel is actually linked up with my Google Plus account. So when I try to edit it here, it takes me to Google Plus to make that change. Depending on how you have your channel set up, you may be able to upload a photo immediately, or you'll just have to go over to Google Plus and do virtually the same thing. Next up is your, your preview section, I'll call it, where you have content for either new visitors or for returning subscribers. You can choose what sort of content to highlight for these people as they visit your channel. For new visitors, a lot of people create what are called a subscribe trailer. And that's really just like a movie trailer for your YouTube channel that tells people why they should subscribe and highlights some of their best content. For myself, I feature my how to get more views video since it's a nice overview of everything else I cover on my channel. To change this featured video, all you do is again, click on this pencil icon and you can choose any video in your content library to feature here. If someone comes to your channel and they're already a subscriber, it doesn't make a lot of sense to show them a subscribe trailer. That's why you can choose other content for returning subscribers to view when they visit your channel. You can choose a specific video, a playlist, or you can set your default content in case the video you've chosen has already been seen by your subscriber. You can choose and select your video here in much the same way you did for the subscribe trailer. You can also choose to promote this video across your entire content catalog by clicking this button here. Once you're done, click Done. Once you have these two set, you can actually view your channel from the perspective of a subscriber or a non-subscriber by clicking the drop down up here. Select either new visitor or returning subscriber, and that's how my channel looks to others, and you'll see it's starting out with my how to get more views video as planned. Next we have our channel sections below. As you can see, I already have two sections set up and it can be moved up and down by clicking on the up or down arrows. I'm gonna add another section by clicking the add a section button, and you'll see you have quite the amount of options for content you can put within these sections. And you can use these things in different ways depending on the type of channel that you run. You can feature a single playlist, you can feature multiple playlists, and choose both a vertical and a horizontal layout. You can even feature other channels in different sections as well, which is great for channels that you're part of a network with or channels that you just might be friends with. All you have to do is give the section a title, enter a channel name, and there you have it. Next, we're gonna edit our About section and our channel links, which also appear right here on our channel artwork. To do that, I'm gonna click on the About tab, and from here, you can click into the description, Edit Pencil, and add your description here. Your description also appears on what's called a hover card throughout YouTube. So if you leave a comment on another video and someone hovers over your avatar, it will show a little bit of your channel's description. So it's important to start it out strong and tell people what your channel's about because it could be a new driver of traffic or new viewers to your channel. Another important thing to note is that links in this channel description won't work. So you can save that for the link section. There's a section you can enter in your contact information for business inquiries. You can set your channel's country. And at the bottom here, you can set up all the links you'd like to have for your channel. Uh, you'll see you'll have a section for the link title and the link URL. You can add additional links and choose how many links you'd like to overlay on top of your channel art. Google Plus has a whole little section all to itself, of course. But once you have that set up, you'll see that your links not only appear on your About page, but also at the top of your channel artwork. 
So that should be everything you need to get your channel organized and looking good. Also be sure to check out a couple channels that are in your same space to see how they organize their channel for ideas.